Hello Pisces, this is Julie with Into Heart Space looking at the energy of November. Have you watched the collective poll? Go watch the collective poll! It's the foundational energy that everyone will feel in November, whether it's personally or through somebody else. So let's call in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading, calling in the divine messages for Pisces, Pisces energy, Pisces guidance, the Pisces sun, Rising or moon. What guidance do you have for Pisces? Okay, let's see here. Okay. And the energy that's coming in from October into November is temperance reverse. So feeling helter skelter, okay? Sagittarius energy. It's like, I don't know what is good, what is bad. I don't know what to move on with. I don't know, um, like you, you just don't feel like you have the answers quite yet. And that's okay. It's always okay not to have the answers. To acknowledge that is very strong and very powerful to be like, I don't know yet. I don't, I can't tell the difference between what is light and what is dark right now. And, and so it leaves the possibility for everything to be open. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, lovely. Eight of Swords reversed, Knight of Cups reversed, and the Moon. And then we also have Ace of Swords reversed, Nine of Cups, Three of Pentacles, the uh, Judgment card, Queen of Cups, and then Ten of Staffs. Okay. And I can totally see why you don't, like, temperance, like, your, your feelings are not connecting with your mind, and your mind is not connecting with your body. Like, there's just a bunch of uh, disconnect happening. And it's like you have a beginning and you have an, like a beginning that can't come in. Like the Ace of Pentacles is, you know, fertility, abundance um, happening on the earthly realm. And, but at the same time, Ace of Swords in reverse is like there's something mentally not jiving with the situation. Like your mind is like, mm, like th th your mind has your, their ears perked up and you're like, wait, why does this not? compute this is not computing to me it doesn't something seems off and and it feels like in a way that there's somebody here a knight of cups so it's a water sign um cancer scorpio pisces could be you uh but there's somebody and i don't feel like this is you though i don't um the the knight of cups is coming in to like throw you off balance you know, and to make you feel crazy in a way, like the Eight of Swords, um, energy in reverse, like saying like, you're crazy, you don't know what you're talking about, but you're like, that's not right, no, um, I'm fine, thank you very much, I'm doing just fine, why are you saying that, it doesn't make sense, and that's it, yeah, you know, the Ace of Swords in reverse, like, yeah, what you're saying doesn't make sense to me. But the Knight of Cups is working off of your emotions and trying to throw you off balance in that regard. The moon energy is, is related to you. You know, that is your card. And, and, and so having the moon show up is stronger than the Knight of Cups in reverse. I mean, you, that's a major arcana card. So it's like, you're like, no, no, no. You can't use myself against me because I, I know myself better than you do. But here it's like, ah, oh gosh, this is a this is a complicated reading because we have judgment here too with the moon attached to it. Two major arcana, the moon, which is you, and judgment, which is Pluto. And so it's this um, connection to the dark, connection to... Um, for some of you guys are highly intuitive, highly uh, psychic. And so that's how you're going to combat this Knight of Cups is by going off of that energy. 
because they are trying to put you in a cage and they're also trying to take away some of the accolades that you've received. You know, they're trying to say that you aren't worth what you have. But the Nine of Cups here, the Nine of Cups showing is, is celebration, is feeling abundant, feeling good with where we are. Oh, and so that's what they're trying to take away, is they're trying to take away that feeling of the Nine of Cups. But luckily we have this Queen of Cups showing up, and this is another fellow water sign. Okay, so it's a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. And seeing as like, this one's in reverse and we have a cup here, but you show up as the moon. Um, the Queen of Cups is here to help you out and to help lay down some of the burdens. Ten of Staffs can be burdensome, like having too much on your plate and not knowing what to choose, and you have to choose, and that's why Temperance in is in reverse. It's like you have to make some decisions on what, what um, staffs you want to bring forward, and you aren't sure of that quite yet but by the end of the month I think you will be because one of the things you're gonna to have to let go is this knight of cups luckily with knight energy it comes in it comes out quick quickly like this knight is going to lose interest in trying to bring you down you know but I love this ace of pentacles like you're gonna feel a new beginning on this earthly realm some of you guys might come into some money actually and so that could that could be why the Knight of Cups is jealous. It's like you didn't have to work for this. It could have, it could just be like a gift from someone or an inheritance. Especially with judgment popping up, Pluto, Pluto energy. It's like you just got a gift because someone passed away, and that pisses off the Knight of Cups. You're like, you have all of this, and you don't even deserve it. And you're like, no, no, no. <laughs> This was a long path for me with the moon and the judgment, you know? Like, I had to go through my emotions. I had to understand every single one of them and not judge myself for that and to let go of that and use that, that path to catapult me into now. So during this month, what I really think you need to... to focus on and to really work through in November is your stability, your inner stability, your physical stability. Like with the Ace of Pentacles coming in, this is going to need to be nurtured. So you need to have a clean home, you need to have a clean mind, you need to have a clean heart, clean body. Yeah, and it's going to be hard to do because of this Knight of Cups coming in and trying to make you feel guilty about succeeding. But you have to. You have to make sure that you work on your Nine of Cups. Okay, and the Nine of Cups, like I said, is your abundance and feeling in the feeling of content with where you are. So let's call on the Mother Moon deck, Mother, the Mother Wisdom deck for some added guidance. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, midwife. I, I'm not going to say the name because I butcher it. It's I-X-C-H-E-L. And uh, it's like, Ixtel? Ixtel? I don't know. I'm butchering it. I'm so sorry. I am but a human. But I'm uh, the midwife. Okay. Okay. Ixtel. I'm totally butchering that, so sorry. The ancient Mayan moon goddess. Moon goddess, you! Moon goddess! Okay. Da, 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 da. Uh, attends birth as midwife. She then works her way across the sun's path, weaving the warp and weft of the rainbow world and our flowering lives. If you have drawn this card as you prepare to give birth, offer extel a blessing for the waters of life that will flow if she appears to you after your idea or child has been born she summons you to serve as midwife to other souls encouraging and emerging of the jewels they bear into this life okay i'm going to read a little bit more because this next paragraph is quite beautiful 
Um, just as a midwife cannot push for a laboring woman, you cannot shield your child from the effort and pain of birthing her full potential. And when they say child, think of your own child, think of your own heart. Also think of like a new idea, a new venture that you're taking with work. Um, rather, Ixtel teaches us to stand by with tremendous love and capable hands, cheering, coaching, and waiting as a unique being hatches out of your nest. You may step in to divert a near disaster. You may nudge a timid new step, or you may add your tears to mourn a broken heart, but you cannot direct this show. When meddlesome intentions arise, ask, Excel ask that you take a step back. Your child's journey, your work's journey, your family's journey is not your own. Okay, so that's super duper powerful because with the moon card, you, you know how to encompass other people's emotions. You know how to take that in. And so during November, you have to, like I said, you have to focus on your own vibration, your own foundation, and recognize that this energy of the Knight of Cups, trying to create a prison of yourself, is not you. This is their journey and they have to get themselves upright and you cannot do that for them all right if you would like a personal reading find me on facebook email me or go to my website remember listen to your heart and the body will follow until next time much love joy and blessings